today I wanted to share with you a little bit about podcasts and specifically why I love them and some of my favorites. I think I listen to at least one podcast every day. Sometimes I will listen to the same podcast two times in a row, but I'm at least listening to one each day. I just love podcasts because I love to learn. I'm not looking to necessarily be entertained when I'm choosing a podcast to listen to. I actually want to learn and improve my life and improve my walk with the Lord. Those are kind of the things that I'm looking for when I'm listening to a certain types of podcasts. So I don't listen to necessarily the entertainment ones. I know there's a lot of really popular ones that talk about a crime story or uh, Hollywood entertainment, that kind of stuff. I, at least at this point, am not listening to those. It's just not what I'm interested in at, at this point in my life. The ones I love are the ones where I feel like I am sitting out to coffee with a mentor and this person is just pouring into my life. I've always wanted to have a mentor in my life, someone that I could meet with every once in a while that would just share with me their life stories and their wisdom and all the things that they have learned. I think, I don't know, I just love not old people, but kind of old people, like people who have lived and learned and have something to share. I think that Titus talks about how we need to be mentoring the younger women and I need one of those people in my life. But since I don't have one, I kind of go to podcasts for that. I'm one of those people that is just not content to stay where I am. I want to be challenged. I want to grow. I want to make sure that I am living the way that God created me to live and I want to make sure that I'm growing in my faith. And I think that is the beauty of everyone having such a different life and different experiences because we can learn from each other. And that's why I love podcasts so much. I have learned so much from them. One thing I've noticed just in the years of, of listening to these is there are a lot of people out there willing to give you their advice and their opinions. And not all of it is sound wisdom and not all of it is biblical. It will sound biblical and people will give you Bible verses and then completely take them out of context and kind of butcher what the scripture was intended to say. And it can be really difficult, especially if you're new in your faith. And so that's the danger of having so much out there and having so much access to so much information. So that is the one like downside, the one thing that I would just encourage you to be very discerning in what you choose to listen to. And if something doesn't sound right, investigate it. Like dig into your Bible, talk to your pastor, or email our pastor, ask him, he's happy to help. So yeah, that's just one thing that I've noticed is you just have to be careful what, what you're feeding your soul and your spirit. Another thing that I have noticed in my time listening to podcasts is because we have so much access to so much information, it just kind of comes at us and we're like trying to catch things, but it's like flying, all this information is flying by us. And so I was noticing that I was listening to a lot of amazing wisdom and a lot of just really good stuff, but I wasn't retaining it. If I'm driving, I'll make an audio note and then I'll come home and write it in my bullet journal. But I try to always write down the things that really stood out to me from that podcast so that I can go back and reflect on it later. Or what I'll do is I'll listen to the podcast while I'm driving one time and then when I'm home, I'll listen to it again with my bullet journal and a pen and I will take notes. That's my favorite way to do it is to listen to the same thing two times and I'll do it usually back to back. So I'll listen to it one day in the car and then the next day I'll listen to it at home and take notes. And that has been the most effective way for me to retain what I'm learning and what I'm being taught. So all that said, I want to share a few of my favorite podcasts. I have a ton and I think what I'm going to do is not 
spend too much time listing out all the podcasts here on this video, but I will do a post on the Beauty Perspective Facebook group where I'll share all of my favorite podcasts and even list out specific episodes that have been really, really helpful or encouraging or life-changing. I mean, there have been some podcasts, especially on the IBCD app, that have been life-changing when it comes to how I look at things, areas I'm struggling in, my spiritual life. It's just amazing. Okay, so I'm pulling out my phone and I'm going to just go down my list and tell you my favorite ones. First up is Dr. Kevin Lehman. He has a podcast called Have a New Kid by Friday. He has a book by the same title and on this podcast he covers a wide array of parenting issues you might have, like a ton, a huge array of things. So that has been really helpful and encouraging. I have really loved the Beauty Brains. That is the cosmetic chemists. They're they're funny. They're chemists all the way. Kind of their humor is very chemisty, kind of nerdy but cute. And I've learned a ton about ingredients and products and how ingredients work together. It's been really interesting and that's kind of what kind of sparked my whole curiosity and wanting to read more and listen to more types of podcasts or more types of talks about that sort of thing. So they are really fun to listen to. Homemakers by Choice, she is the cutest thing. Well, I don't know what she looks like, but her voice is just like you're sitting with your grandma at coffee and she says it like it is. She's so wise and I just, I adore her. And she's so honest, like she's really honest about her shortcomings and the things she's really struggled over in her life and I just love her podcast. They're short, they're like 20 minutes, just enough, but she's so good. So I really love her. The Busy Mom, she is a homeschooling mom. She has a lot of kids. She's super sweet. She doesn't only talk about homeschooling, she just talks about faith and mommy stuff. It's definitely for moms. So if you're a mom, you'll love that one. I love Grace to You, that's John MacArthur, all of his sermons and preaching. I love John MacArthur, we call him J-Mac in this house. The Gospel Coalition, that is another one of my favorites, talks about just spiritual things, biblical things. It talks about hot topics and how we as Christians should handle those hot topics maybe. It's been really helpful. I've learned a lot from that podcast. This is Your Life with Michael Hyatt. That's more of um, a life coach style po podcast. He's a Christian, but he doesn't go in depth into spiritual things or biblical things. He's more of a life coach or business, it kind of goes between life and business type stuff. God Centered Mom podcast, I really love her. She actually interviews people and a lot of them are speakers or authors, so I found a lot of really good books or Bible studies through her. And of course, I have to mention Bravis Row Church podcast. If you don't get to go to our church, you can listen to all of our sermons, either online on the website or they have their own app. And like I said, this isn't an extensive list of all my favorite podcasts. I'll list all of those out in the Beauty Perspective Facebook group. But the final one I wanted to talk about was the IBCD app. And that is a separate app. This isn't on the podcast app. You have to download it. And they have a ton of just really good messages. It's biblical counseling or biblical counselors that have given talks. They all go about an hour. So I have to listen to those in like half hour segments as I'm driving kids around, which is my favorite time to listen to podcasts because I spend a lot of time in the car driving the kids. But one thing to know about their app is it's not super user friendly. You kind of have to have some patience and figuring out, finding where everything is. But another way to get even more messages than what they have on the app is by pulling up the website on your phone, plugging your phone into your car, and then you can listen to the messages that way through your car as well if you have a car that does that. I haven't listened to all of them. There are a ton of messages on the website and the app. Three of my favorites are Caroline, her husband, which I'm blanking on his name, but I'll have that all listed out, and then Elise Fitzpatrick. She has a lot of really good 
really challenging but encouraging messages that she's given. And I'll list out some of my favorites that she's done um, on the Facebook page. I really hope that this was helpful for you guys. It gave you guys some ideas of ones to listen to. And please, if you guys listen to podcasts, make sure you guys leave a comment down below or on the Beauty Perspective Facebook page letting us all know the ones that you love and listen to the most or particular episodes maybe that really just blew you away. Leave all of that down below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me. If this was helpful for you, I would love it if you would give this video a thumbs up, maybe share with your friends. And if you're not subscribed, I would love to have you. I hope you guys are having a really great day and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Today I'm going to share with you my favorite things from this last month and I don't have a whole lot but the stuff I have to show you I actually am really excited about.